the game. It's a red stick. Hello guys today in this video, we're going to help you to find out the best graphics cards in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 9. Intel Arc A380. The Arc A380 perhaps best represents Intel's dedicated GPU journey over the past year. Our initial review found a lot of problems, including game incompatibility, rendering errors, and sometimes downright awful performance. More than a year of driver updates has fixed most of those problems, and if you're looking for a potentially interesting HTPC graphics card, video codec support remains a strong point. We've routinely seen the Arc A380 on sale for $99, and at that point, we can forgive a lot of its faults. We suggest you hold out for another sale if you want to pick one up, rather than spending more. The car least expensive cards start at $119. It's still very much a budget GPU, with slower performance than the RX 6500 XD, but it has 6 GB of RAM and costs less. Number 8. AMD Radeon RX 7700 XD After the successful RX 6700 XD and RX 6750 XD, we had high hopes for the RX 7700 XD. It only partially delivers, though a recent official price cut definitely helps. AMD's latest generation mid-range slash high-end offering follows the usual path, trimming specs compared to the top models with a smaller Navi 32 GPU that can sell at lower prices. Both the RX 7800 XD above and 7700 XD use the same Navi 32 GCD graphics compute die. But the 7800 XD has 4 MCDs, memory cache dies, while the 7700 XD cuts that number down to 3, as well as having fewer CUs, compute units, enabled on the GCD. Number 7. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super The RTX 4080 Super at least partially addresses one of the biggest problems with the original RTX 4080. The price. The 4080 cost $1,199 at launch, a 72% increase in generational pricing compared to the RTX 3080. Now, the 4080 Super Refresh drops the price to $999, which represents a 17% drop in generational pricing compared to the overpriced RTX 3080D. Of course, the 3080D felt overpriced but it nearly mashed the 3090 in performance, just with half of RAM. The 4080 Super still trails the 4090 by a sizable margin of 24% at 4K, with the current price premiums on the RTX 4090. Number 6. Intel Arc A750 Testing the Intel Arc A750 was a bit like dealing with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. At times, performance looked excellent sometimes surpassing the GeForce RTX 3060. Other times, ARC came up far short of expectations. Trailing the RTX 3050, the drivers continued to improve. However, and with prices now starting at around $200, this represents an excellent value. Just note that some of the cost savings will ultimately show up in your electrical bill, as it's not as efficient as the competition. There are some compromises, like the 8 GB of RAM, the A770 doubles that to 16 GB, but also costs around $100 extra. Intel's A750 also has to go up against AMD's RX 7600, which is the primary competition at this price, even if AMD's prices have recently increased. Number 5. AMD Radeon RX 7900 X. With prices now heading up on many previous generation cards, AMD's RX 7900 XD has become more attractive with time. It generally beats the RDX 4070D in rasterization performance but trails by quite a bit in ray tracing games, with both cards now starting at around $699. 
that brings some good competition from AMD with all the Arduino 3 architectural updates. AMD also doesn't skimp on VRAM, providing you with 20 GB. That's 67% more than the competing 4070D. However, you won't get DLSS support, and FSR2 works on NVIDIA as well as AMD, so it's not really an advantage. Plus, DLSS still looks better. Some refuse to use upscaling of any form. However, so the importance of DLSS and FSR2 can be debated. Number 4. NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4060 With the launch of the RTX 4060, NVIDIA appears to have gone as low as it plans for this generation of desktop graphics cards based on the Ada Lovelace architecture. We're not ruling out an eventual desktop RTX 4050, but we're also skeptical such a card would warrant consideration. Considering how pared down the 4060 is already, there are certainly drawbacks with this level of GPU. NVIDIA opted to cut down the memory interface to just 128 bits, which in turn limits the memory capacity options. NVIDIA could do a 16 GB card if it really wanted, but 8 GB is the standard configuration and we don't expect anything else. Only the 4060 D16 GB has the doubled RAM option, and we weren't particularly impressed by that card. Number 3. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX rates as the fastest graphics card from AMD and lands near the top of the charts, with a generational price bump to match. Officially priced at $999, the least expensive models now start at around $930, and supply has basically caught up to demand. There's good reason for the demand, as the 7900 XTX comes packing AMD's latest Arduino 3 architecture that gives the 7900 XTX a lot more potential compute, and you get 33% more memory and bandwidth as well. Compared to the RX 6950 XT, on average the new GPU is 44% faster at 4K, though that shrinks to 34% at 1440p and just 27% at 1080p. Number 2. NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4070 NVIDIA's RDX 4070 didn't blow us away with extreme performance or value, but it's generally equal to the previous generation RDX 3080. Comes with the latest Ada Lovelace architecture and features, and costs about $100 less. Now, with the launch of the RDX 4070 Super, see above. It also got a further price cut, and the lowest cost cards start at around $530. NVIDIA rarely goes after the true value market segment, but with the price adjustments brought about with the recent 40 series super cards, things are at least reasonable. The RDX 4070 can still deliver on the promise of ray tracing and DLSS upscaling. It only uses 200 watts of power, often less and in raw performance it outpaces AMD's RX 7800 XD. Slightly slower in rasterization, faster in ray tracing. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4070 Super NVIDIA just refreshed its 40 series lineup with the new Super models. Of the three, the RDX 4070 Super will be the most interesting for the most people. It inherits the same $599 MSRP as the non-Super 4070, which has dropped to $549 to keep it relevant. With all the latest features of the NVIDIA Ada Lovelace architecture, it's slightly better than a linear boost in performance relative to price, which is as good as you can hope for these days. Unlike some of the other models, the RTX 4070 Super also seems to have plenty of base MSRP models available at retail. We like the stealthy black aesthetic of the Founders Edition, and it runs reasonably cool and quiet, but third-party cards with superior cooling are also available, sometimes at lower prices than the reference card.